Hello YouTubers, today I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about Bluehost. Um, I want to talk a little bit about what it is, who uses it, how to use it, why you should use it, why I use it. Uh, first things first, um, I am an affiliate of Bluehost um, and I also have a few websites listed uh, hosted on Bluehost. Uh, so if you decide to continue your hosting services with Bluehost, um, I do receive a small bit of compensation from it. Uh, the cost of your Bluehost is not affected positively or negatively based on uh, if you click the, the link in the description or not. Um, it just provides a little bit of uh, compensation my way because I am a marketer for them. Uh, so what is Bluehost? Bluehost is a web hosting service. Um, it's like GoDaddy, it's like uh, any other web hosting service that you can think of. Um, as I mentioned before, I have a few websites on Bluehost. Uh, here's one of them. It's actually a WordPress site. Uh, one of the nice things about Bluehost is it's very sleek. Um, it's very easy to use. Um, this is the this is the the user interface for someone that has an active account. If I just type in bluehost.com, this is what you'll see. Um, as you can see, web hosting at this time starts at 295. It may be different once you decide to pursue it. Uh, here's some of the options. Um, WordPress made easy. WordPress basically is a, a one-click install and setup. Um, you can also create your d domain names. Uh, you can do non-WordPress sites. Actually, one of the sites that I have that I've created um, is a non-WordPress site. Um, I basically just use that site to get experience in, in creating websites and web development. Um, so, but this is the, uh, we'll say, we'll call this the user interface or user homepage. Um, very easy, you can go directly to WordPress um, or any other sites, uh, the back end. Uh, you can, you have access to uh, PHP MyAdmin, um, security features. Um, you have all sorts of um, options when it comes to, to Bluehost. Um, the reason why I chose Bluehost a few years ago, um, I was actually looking at a few different hosting options, including Amazon Web Services. Um, I thought that at the time, all of the different services that they had were made it kind of confusing. And I just wanted something that was simple and easy and looked professional. And I thought that Bluehost offered that. Also, I was a student at that time. And so Bluehost had a, had a student discount. I don't know if they still do. Um, but I was able to create my own email addresses. Um, as you can see, there's some of the different options that you're able to take advantage of. Um, you're able to upload, you can work offline creating websites and then upload them through a, a file manager or uh, you can configure your databases uh, and all of that good stuff. Uh, so if I click over here under my sites, as you can see, I just have the, the one site here. You can create another site very easily. Um, and just everything takes a few minutes it's not a long drawn out process which which is nice for someone that's either getting started or they're not familiar with um, web development or or web hosting services um, one of the things that kind of catches you off guard is they do have additional add-ons that can add up they can become kind of pricey um, and they are constantly selling different add-ons and features to you, um, which if you're not paying attention, you could wind up buying something that you don't need or you don't want. Um, let's see if I click on add-ons. So some of the, these are some of the different features that they offer to you. One nice thing though is they will, from time to time, they'll give you a trial of something. Um, they'll let you use it for 30 days or 60 days, whatever. Uh, and they'll give you an opportunity to get comfortable with certain features. And then uh, you can decide at that time if you want it or not. I believe when I purchased, when I created this website, uh, you could 
get an additional SSL certificate uh, at no additional cost, which is nice. Um, they will, you can actually set it up so that you can back up your site remotely. There, there are just a ton of features and options that you can take advantage of. Uh, because I'm using WordPress, it gives you the opportunity to modify themes. Again, those are, if you're not paying attention, that can cost you some additional money. Uh, you can create a number of email addresses, which I have not done with this site. Um, again, everything is just very easy, very quick, um, very professional. One nice thing that I think I like with, with Bluehost is you don't see a lot of commercials on TV, or at least I don't see a lot of commercials. A lot of commercials that you see now uh, are through are on YouTube. And even then, they're not as uh, prevalent as some of the other services that are out there. But again, this is Bluehost. Again, I use it for a number of websites that I have. Uh, I highly recommend it because it is very user-friendly. It's very clean. There's not a lot of clutter. Um, and it to use it is just really easy. Um, and they also offer 24-7 assistance. If you look over here, 24-7 support, um, money-back guarantee, everyone does that, so that's not really special. Um, but yeah, so again, like I said, I, I think Bluehost is an incredible web hosting site. Um, the only concern that I would have it, if I was just getting into Bluehost and even as a current user is sometimes the add-ons uh, the additional services that you can buy, they kind of uh, sneak up on you. Uh, so you don't want to be that person where you buy something that you don't really want. You do have to pay attention, um, especially if you're using WordPress and you want to, uh, if you're looking through the themes um, and you want a different themes, you want a different theme. Um, WordPress has probably thousands of free themes. Uh, you may accidentally purchase one that's a paid theme so you just want to keep your head on a swivel for that um, as you can see there are a, a number of different options out there if you have any questions about bluehost or the different services that they offer uh, what i'm using bluehost for leave a, a note in the comment and i'll reply to you um, and we can kind of start that conversation so thanks for watching and we will see you soon